Are you too stupid to become a marine biologist? Yes. <laughs> I have received a couple of messages and comments of people saying that they think they are too stupid or too dumb to be a marine biologist. So let's talk about that. I'm assuming here that people talk about being a marine biologist as a scientist, which is, well, marine biology is a field in science. So I'm going to expand this question to, are you too stupid to be a scientist? Or in this case, a marine scientist. When we listen to scientists on TV or when we talk to them in person, they come across as many times very smart people. People tend to think of scientists sometimes as like human calculators with this IQ above super high above average. Now, there are scientists that do have these above average intellectual abilities. There are people that do amazing things with their brain without having to put much effort, or at least not as in much effort as an average person would have to put in to attain the same level. Sometimes that level is not even attainable by the average person, no matter how much effort you put into. I think science does attract people with these kind of intellectual abilities because it's a field in which you can explore the limits of your intellect. Now, while these people do exist in science, they are the exception and not the rule. One of the things that I think makes scientists seem extremely smart and above average intelligent is how much they know. Usually scientists are very knowledgeable and if you hear a scientist talk about their work, they hopefully are because that's their job. Their job is to be a specialist in their field. Now, this knowledge, however, does not come from this in, an intrinsic intelligence or smartness that is unattainable un unless you are some kind of genius and you were born with this super intelligent brain. This knowledge is a result of a combination of personality traits that I believe make a good scientist. And being super intelligent or super smart is not one of those traits. One thing that all good scientists have is curiosity. Curiosity is what drives a scientist's mind. It's what drives science. It's this need to understand how the things around us work, the hows, the whos, and the whats of things. This pure curiosity is expressed by learning, experimenting, talking to people, reading a lot, until the answer to their question is reached. The thing is, whenever one question is answered, 10 more pop up. And this leads to a never-ending search for the truth. While doing that, the scientists will not only learn a lot from reading and talking and all those endeavors that one has to go through to learn more about the world, the scientist will also learn new ways of approaching problems and new ways of thinking. And this is what I believe people call smartness. It's this combination of knowledge and a kind of different way of approaching problems. However, this smartness is not something that is intrinsic. It's something that is obtained during the search for the truth driven by curiosity. This leads me to a second trait that I believe all good scientists should have, and that is critical thinking. A genuinely curious person wants to understand the real truth of things, wants to understand how things really happen. And if that is the goal of one's questions, which usually is the goal of a scientist, you cannot be satisfied by whatever answer someone gives you without the proper evidence. You need evidence to support the conclusions that you take regarding whatever question you are making. Because accepting something without the proper evidence endangers your real search for the real truth. So a scientist or a good scientist should never want that. A scientist should tr thrive to try to understand the things as they are and not as how they want it to be or how someone else tells them it is. A little side note here, critical thinking is not the same as not believing anything someone tells you and thinking that everyone is lying to you. That's a horrible way of going through life. No, critical thinking is only about when thinking that whenever someone tells you something, having this little voice in the back of your brain that just because this person is telling me this doesn't mean it's true. 
or just because I'm reading this here doesn't mean it's true either. Also doesn't mean it's a lie, also doesn't mean it's false, but it also might be. It's just keeping your mind open for accepting that whatever you're being told might not be the truth. Without the proper evidence, you cannot know. Let me just chime in a bit uh, because I was now editing the video and I realized how some things can be misinterpreted. When I mean be a critical thinker, of course you have to be aware of the person you are talking with. If you are talking to a professional about their job, you should assume that they know what they're talking about and that they will know more than you if that is not your job. Actually, one of the ways that I would suggest that if you are suspicious about something someone told you or you think it might not be true, is to look up what professionals say. Yeah, I don't want you to go around and talking to people in the professional setting saying that they don't, you don't believe anything they say, that's not a point. I mean, professionals are probably the ones you should trust the most. If they say something is how it is, you can still ask questions and you can still go home and look what other professionals on the matter say, but yeah, you should still listen to them. They probably still know more than you or me or anyone. Uh, back to the original video. Now, I personally think that everyone should practice critical thinking because accepting that everything that you were told as the truth without the proper evidence can be very dangerous. This can lead to manipulation and spreading of wrong information. Here is something that I believe is difficult for everyone. And this is, if you are working in science especially, you have to approach every situation the same way. And this means that you have to be critical even in the face of things that you really, really want to be true. Scientists marine biologists or marine scientists included, have to be ready to be proven wrong. If new solid evidence comes proving your ideas and your hypothesis wrong, a good scientist or any scientist will have to accept it as such. Because even though you would really like your idea to be the proper one, because we are still humans, scientists are human beings, I know it's hard to believe, but we are. Even though we would really want our ideas to be the right ones, we still have, as scientists, to accept that they might not be. And if there is evidence proving it, we really have to accept it. Accepting new ideas and understanding that maybe the things that you were thinking about were not exactly the right direction doesn't make you at all a bad scientist. On the other hand, accepting new evidence and new ideas and building on that with the knowledge you already previously had is the makings of a great scientist. These are the two things that I think make scientists look very smart. <laughs> when they aren't. <laughs> we are all dumb. That is not what I mean, obviously. Curiosity and being a critical thinker usually come accompanied with hard work and resilience. During their quest for answering all the questions that will pop up in their critical thinking minds, the scientists will find a lot of obstacles, will have to deal with a lot of failure, and they have to be okay with it and continue. They have to continue with their hard work, accept their failures, build on them, until the answer to their questions is reached. Are you too stupid to be a marine biologist? Probably not, because being super smart is not a requirement. If you have the combination of traits that I just talked about, then you are off to a good start. This was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow me on any of my other social media, check that out. I hope you all have a great day or evening and I hope to see you in the next one and subscribe if you want to watch more marine related content.